it's Nene. Mm, no makeup. But listen, I just had to jump on here to just say a couple of things really, really fast to you guys. First, I love you guys. And thank you so much for loving me, okay? Um, the next thing is, there are some people in the world who live in negativity consistently throughout their entire life. And then there's sometimes in life where you have people who are stalkers, who actually stalk your life. Um, I want to say everyone that reached out to me during the time that Greg was sick and during um, the time he was crossing over, I am so grateful. I am so grateful, so grateful for everyone and everything. I'm so grateful. Listen, I'm very much a person that if you ask me, I'm very much a person that if you ask me something, I'm going to tell you, yes, I am learning that every question does not need to be answered. I got that. But I want to say thank you to Tigger and V103 for having me on the show yesterday as a guest co-host. We had a super positive show. Obviously, any show that I do, they're going to ask me about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? They did. I spoke positive of everyone. Everyone. I have nothing negative to say. I don't. Um, my time on the show was what it was. I uh, have no to say about any person nothing I'm done talking about all of that okay so they asked me if the Real Housewives sent condolences or gifts or anything everywhere I go people ask me this stuff okay I get asked this stuff every single day I said a million times every single person that I can think of, maybe one or two didn't, the entire franchise reached out. The black girls and the white girls, okay? Bravo reached out. That included Andy, all the executives. Everyone reached out. The camera people on the ground, the production crew, everyone reached out. I was asked about gifts that were given. No, before I was asked about that, I was asked about if Cynthia attended Greg's repast. No, she didn't. I answered the question very honestly. I'm a very honest person. Um, she did not attend. Did I? Did it bother me that she didn't attend? No. Seemed like it bothered other people because other people were always coming to me asking me about it. It didn't bother me. She showed up a week or so later at the lounge. Great. We had an amazing time. I think she said somewhere we had a great time. It was awkward for about 10 minutes and we had a great time. We had an amazing time. We laughed, we partied, we had a ball. It didn't really bother me, okay? It just didn't. Greg's sickness was what it was. He understood what he was going through. He knew he was going to die. We had these conversations a trillion times, okay? I was asked about the gifts that the girls gave. I was asked uh, what gifts the Real Housewives gave or if they gave a gift or something to the, I can't remember the exact question it was. And you know, I'm kind of flying the mouth sometimes. So I said some little something on the side, but what, what the truth is, since we're speaking on the truth, uh, I did receive flowers from the Real Housewives cast and it lists their names, Kenya, Candy, Cynthia, Marlo, I think that's what it said. And I later said, I had a conversation with Marlo about it when she came to me. And I said, I did get the flowers. I'm just, you know, everybody had to chip in to get me a set of flowers. We we're just kind of talking about this. It. It's just the truth. And, and I, 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 at that moment when she and I were having the conversation, I did feel a way because Todd mother passed some years ago. Greg and I catered all of this food to Greg and I catered all of this food to his mom in New York and Marlo brother passed and I sent, you know, things to cater for Marlo. And, uh, but later Candy sent me a huge, huge 
bouquet of flowers. We text each other. I told her how much I thanked her. Marlo sent me a, uh, money after that uh, to buy things with for the repass. Um, I, I'm grateful for everything. Like we had the conversation. Um, they bought a bouquet of flowers. It didn't matter. My house was like a garden. Okay. I got flowers from everybody from around the world. Okay. Flowers came in from everywhere and I am grateful. Okay. I just don't feel like I have to get on here and break it down and explain because we has, and I'm doing it. We had such a positive, fun show, and I never spoke negative of anyone. And my stalker is consistently speaking of me. But I'm telling you, I'm not the one. You need to stop your stuff because you know I am not the one. I'm over here trying to live in a positive light. Please, I'm asking you to leave me alone. I want to say thank you to all of you who have consistently supported me. I do not care if you sent a gift. I don't care if you made a comment. I don't care what it was. I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for each and every last one of you. Thank you so much. My circle of support has been absolutely amazing. The people that are consistently checking on me and consistently me you know I love you and I thank you thank all of you you whatever you did you did it and I appreciate it. it whether it was big or small I really appreciate it and I know Greg truly appreciate it thank you guys thank you I love you Gotta go get